Leaders. It's Gina from OrchidandOpal.com, and I am so excited to open the January 2019 dollar bead box with you guys today. As you can see, I still have it taped up, and I have absolutely no idea what's inside. So let's check it out. I'm really excited. For those that don't know, the dollar bead box, which you can find on dollarbeadbox.com, that information will be below as well. It is a bead and jewelry making subscription box that comes once a month. It's $18.50 a month uh, if you sign up for six months, and it goes up a little bit if you are just a month-to-month -month member. But uh, they also have an $8 a month add-on where you can also get this dollar bead bag where you get a selection of four strands of three millimeter and four strands of four millimeter check fire polish beads. They always send a great variety of colors and finishes and we'll get into that in just a minute. The dollar bead box also, if you are a subscriber, gives you access to their online store where you can go back and order all sorts of wonderful products for just a dollar a strand for most of them. And I've shopped there quite a bit. I'm not paid to do these videos or anything like that. They did start sending me this box free of charge in order to continue to facilitate these honest reviews, but everything that I express here today will be my honest opinions. All right, so let's get into the bag. I'm gonna move the box over here and we'll get into that after. So first is the bag. And like I said, that's got eight different strands in it four three millimeter and four four millimeter. So everything is also nicely labeled so we'll be able to tell what is what. So I'm just gonna separate the strands here first and then we'll take a look at everything. So I'm seeing some beautiful colors already. All right, so as we can see from our handy sheet here, the first one is called Matte Siam. So of course it's this beautiful matte bright red color. I absolutely love it, love red, so of course I love this strand, and it's always nice to bulk up the stash of fire polish beads. I do use them a lot in various projects, bead weaving and otherwise. So our next strand is called Sun Orange. Very appropriate name, as you can see. It's this very bright, bright, sunny orange color and it's the typical fire polish finish, so it is very shiny and sparkly on its own. The next strand is called Matte Jonquil, which is going to be this pale yellow, again in the matte finish, which gives it that frosted look. Very pretty pale yellow. And then these are always my favorite, these strands that have these interesting multicolor situations. So this is called the Turquoise Half Copper. And we have either gotten this in the four millimeter before or I have purchased it because I do already have some and I love it. So as you can see, if you kind of move the beads around, that part of it is this gorgeous, gorgeous turquoise color. And then the other part is the metallic copper just beautiful. So that's it for our three millimeter strands this month. Let's get into our four millimeter strands. So our first one is called olive. Of course, it's an olive green right here. Very sparkly. Again, that typical fire polish finish. Then we have a matte topaz, which is this one right here. So again, they're doing some mixing between the regular fire polish and the matte, but what's great if you are a subscriber of this box month to month is that you really do build up a nice collection of different colors and finishes that can work together in so many different projects. It's great. So our next one is called Crystal Light Copper Amethyst. This is absolutely gorgeous. So I haven't seen one like this myself, but as you can see, it's got a combination of just that light amethyst color like it's barely you can barely see the purple in some areas and some areas just look clear and then it's got this beautiful metallic copper on parts of it as well I'm just moving that around so you can get a good idea of what that looks like but it is a beautiful strand all right so then our last four millimeter strand that we have is called Opaque White Bermuda Blue, and we have gotten this in a three millimeter strand before. It is gorgeous. 
look at that. So you can see as you turn it, like just the combination of that white with the contrast of there's like this chocolate brown, but also that Bermuda blue, the metallic that keeps popping up. Very, very pretty. Another really nice fire polish combination. So some great strands there as usual, and now we'll get into the dollar bead box. So last month they sent all strands, which was really interesting. A lot of people liked it. I know I liked it. Usually they send a mix of strands and bagged items and charms, connectors, bindings, things like that. So we'll see what they sent this month. It should be interesting. And before we do that, let's just take a look at the letter that they send every month. And then on the back, of course, will be our list. So let's read it here. It says, Do you remember as one year ends and a new one begins, many lists appear to let us know what has been and what will be popular. One that's especially interesting for anyone involved in fashion or creative design is Pantone's list of trending colors, topped by their pick for 2019 Color of the Year, Living Coral. Others on the list include Jester Red, Pink Peacock, Aspen Gold, Mango Mojito, Eclipse, and Sweet Corn. The job of coming up with these names must be great fun. While these lists may serve as a guide, I've always believed that the best colors are the ones you love. They're the colors that make you feel good, evoke a memory, create a mood, or express your style. So, for 2019, I suggest we all pick our own colors of the year. Totally agree with that. All right, so of course, like I said, we have our list here nicely organized on the back. We can start out with our strands and then go from there. So let's take a look. The first one is called 4 millimeter Check Glass English Cut Olive Luster, and there's 25 pieces. So of course, that must be this one right here. Lovely strand. I love the shape of the English Cut Check Glass beads. They're just a little bit more organic looking. And I love the olive luster. It makes the uh, beads look a little bit more like stone instead of glass, which Czech glass beads are so good at doing, imitating that. Very nice. So just different shades of greens and browns, some neutral tones, and a little bit of shine to it as well with that luster finish. The next one is a green turquoise nebulous luster fire polish in four millimeter, which we have gotten before. And I know many of us know and love. So of course, just having that nebulous luster finish on these beads makes them look again, more like stone or just takes them up another level. They're so pretty. So they have different uh, versions of the nebulous luster, of course, navy blue, red, there's a green turquoise and the blue turquoise, and possibly some other shades as well. Those are some of the ones that have been popular, I know, on their site. So there's that one. Then our next strand is called 6 millimeter Matte Bronze Hematite, 20 pieces of that. So it's always nice to get some different sizes of the check fire polish since we get so many three and four. We now have another strand here of the six, which they do sometimes, which is nice. And this is just a great mix of kind of dull or more toned down metallics it's called matte bronze hematite. So of course we have some of the hematite or almost looks like graphite here, like pencil lead, um, and then some bronze mixed in here as well. Very nice. The next strand is a four millimeter Czech glass Drux strand, which Drux are these round shapes right here, just look like little spheres. And this is an opaque red gold luster. And it's absolutely stunning. I love this color so much. Just beautiful. So I'm moving it around a little bit so you can kind of get a feel for that luster finish. It's not just a flat, shiny red. It's got just little hints of the luster, which makes it feel even more special. Almost gives it like a little bit of a pearlized look. Very pretty. Love that red. Then our next strand is called 6mm Czech Glass Rondelle. This is a peach rainbow iris, which is beautiful. So it's got the rainbow iris finish, which gives it that special effect effect that you can see as I'm moving it around. You can see the little rainbow effect there in the shine. And beautiful, beautiful light peach. Lovely color. Lovely rondelle. Kind of oval shape. 
And I love the little bit of like the indentations they have around the top and the bottom just makes them even a little bit more interesting. Okay, our next strand is called Check Glass Pinch Bead Matte Jet. These are three by five millimeter size. There are 35 pieces. So this is your typical check glass pinch bead. It's got three sides, I believe. And this is the matte jet. So just a matte black color, which will be a easy color to work into many projects. All right, guys, so we're gonna get into our additional items. As you can see, we have our nice list here with everything, once again, all laid out. So let's go down the list. Our first item is a 12 millimeter pewter brass toggle, antique brass, so it's always nice to have. I definitely always like to add toggles and findings to my stash. So nothing too special about this one, pretty basic, but again, a beater's necessity. Then we're looking for a 25 millimeter porcelain tabular round olive topaz bead. So let's take a look. That's gotta be this right here, which look at the detail on that. So let me take a look, cause I wanna see, yep, there's definitely holes right here. So it's actually a pretty large hole. You could even put this on round leather cord. The hole is so big. So there's that. So again, porcelain's got this really cool design and finish on it. Almost looks a bit tribal. Different shades of brown and cream and olive. So that's really cool. So this would be a really interesting focal type piece. Could kind of you could use it as a pendant. You could use it with a tassel. There's different things you could do with this. This would make a nice focal on a bracelet, especially for those who are really into earth tones and really like earth tones. And this could make something really special. And once again, if you're a member or you're a subscriber, you can go on their website to dollarbeadbox.com and probably pick up another one of these if you wanted a, a pair or more for just a dollar, which is really cool. All right, so then moving on, our next item is another porcelain tabular bead, and this is a rectangle in olive topaz. So that would be this one right here, which is really, really cool. Kind of reminds me of a tortoise shell effect almost when I first glanced at it, but so there's the hole there running up and down. And kind of everything I said about the round bead that I just showed would apply to this one as well. It's got the large hole. It's quite a large size, has those neutral kind of earthy tones and browns and creams and greens. So definitely could also coordinate with the round bead in some way as well. And very different and interesting, not something at all like I have in my stash, not something I'm particularly drawn to, but I think that people could make some really cool things out of these. All right, so then we are looking for a five by nine Chinese crystal cut rectangle in periwinkle rainbow iris, and there's four pieces of those. So that would be these right here, which are very pretty. Another unique shape. And that color looks beautiful. So these are actually Chinese crystal. They're not Czech glass, but uh, the shape is really cool. The color is very pretty. And there's a picture of like the hole running up and down through there like that. They seem pretty uniform, even though they're Chinese crystal. I'll add a little pop of color to a project. All right, our next item is a eight millimeter Czech glass curved cube bead crystal with white opal six pieces. So that's these right here. Very nice. Love the effect of that opal with the clear inside and there's the hole right there running up and down. And as you can see they're called cube beads but they're curved cubes so they're a little bit more rounded. They almost have a look of like the uh, Lucerna bicone in a way. So those are very pretty as well. And there's my sixth one, wouldn't come out. Okay, moving down the list, we're looking for some 16 millimeter Czech glass ammonite beads, jet black, there's two pieces, which I think are really, really cool. We've gotten these, or I've gotten these, I may have purchased them separately on their website in all different colors that had like a peacock finish. 
but these are just a jet black and you can see they've got that ammonite or like a fossil type shape to them which is really unique i really like the fact that these are jet black because they will be able to work into something probably could make a quick pair of earrings with these combined with something else but the fact that they're kind of an odd shape but they're jet black makes them easier to work with so they're they're funky but not too funky pretty cool i like those a lot so the next item is 20 millimeter check glass elephants turquoise with gold wash two pieces and i know a lot of people were so excited about these when we had gotten these before in a silver wash we had gotten some navy with a silver wash so these are the turquoise with the gold wash so i actually did make a necklace using these it was a challenge because they're not something that I'm particularly drawn to to use, but I think they're very pretty and very, very cool. I do like them a lot. So they're uh, definitely three-dimensional. They look great on all sides. That gold wash is gorgeous with the turquoise, just beautiful. And if you've saved your elephants from previous boxes, now you have another two to work with. So if you haven't worked with those, maybe now's the time. Our next item is Swarovski Zillion Rose SS16 Crystal Metallic Blue Foiled 14 Pieces. So once again, we've gotten these, and I'm going to be honest, I'm not too thrilled about these. I just don't really work with them. I, I know that like you can use them with resin, probably like polymer clay, different craft projects like that. Um, you can glue them onto other things to kind of give them some extra shine or a little rhinestone detail, but uh, they're just not something I really look forward to getting in the dollar bead box. This is the second time I've seen them, and I just really don't prefer to get rhinestones. If we're going to get Swarovski, I'd much rather get beads, but that's just me. You know, if that's something you like, you know, don't let that upset you because we all like different things. We all shouldn't like the same things. And you can't expect to like every single thing that comes in a box of randomly selected beads. However, a lot of times what happens if I do get something that maybe I don't like, I might think of a way to use them that I hadn't thought about and it makes me think outside the box. And I may not like something at first, but then I may change my mind later. So, you know, don't take it the wrong way if there's something that I say that I'm not drawn to or don't really particularly like because I know that there's lots of other people who might really like them and I think that's great. So that's those. Then we are looking for pewter three strand connectors and antique copper two pieces. I love getting connectors. So here's some antique copper connectors, just beautiful. Take those out so we can look closer at them. Those are really, really pretty. So they're not two sided, which would be nice, but they're still very nice on this side and have a good feel to them and they'll be great. You can use them as findings to make a three strand necklace or a bracelet or even use them in earrings if you wanted to so great to add those to the stash okay we're getting down to our last couple things so we're looking now for beehive beads nine millimeter in jet black there's six pieces really like these these are very nice Lovely shape. I love the shape of these beehive beads. So the holes right there goes through the center there. Basic jet black has a nice glossy finish. Very fun swirled kind of beehive shape. Another great addition to the stash. Interesting and will be easy to use for sure. Okay, so we're on our very last item, which is called vintage German glass round opaque white with yellow and blue six millimeter usually a fan of these vintage German glass beads. So let's take a look. Those are really cute. They've got the little swirls of yellow and blue mixed with the white. Definitely have that vintage feel to them and that vintage look where it looks like the two sides were pressed together so that one half is different from the other. Really sweet. All right, everyone, so this is it for the January 2019 dollar bead box subscription. That was the dollar bead bag plus the box. As you can see, we've gotten about 25 different strands and little baggies of items here for $26.50 shipped right to our door. 
So definitely a nice value. And then the fact that you can go back and order any of these products again, plus a lot more for just a dollar each is always a lot of fun, a lot of value on their website. I can't wait to play around with some of these beads and make some new projects from some of these items that have come in today. Please feel free to leave me a comment down below letting me know what your favorite item is here, what you might make with these. As always, I'll be back with more finished jewelry updates to show you what I've done with some of these materials, as well as more tutorials, and I have more unboxings coming very soon. So I want to thank you guys so much for being with me. It was a lot of fun being able to unbox this with you and kind of get our minds thinking about what we might be able to create with some of these beads and findings. As always, I hope you have a wonderful day and happy beading. If you enjoyed this video, I'd love you to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell if you'd like to see more of my videos. And check out the video description section to follow along on all of my social media handles. And check out my new website and blog at orchidandopal.com. Thanks for watching!